Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 379. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you. They're not much, but entertaining. So let's get right into it. And in today's news, Switzerland gets a My Little Pony toy line from McDonald's, or for McDonald's. So last week we reported that Burger King for America got their pony toy line slash transformers and this time around it's Switzerland's turn and it seems that um, the pony toys for McDonald's seems really good I, I like this 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 are a nice batch of toys and I'm not 100% sure if all of them are crystal ponies or transparent or translucent but they're really good and Applejack got a hat so that's awesome it's been a while that we really get to see Applejack with a hat. If you really remember in the old days, Applejack didn't get a hat or a Stetson in this case. So it's good to see that she has one now. I'm happy for that. I'm happy for that. And other than that, um, is this going to be rocking with Transformers? Uh, let's see. The Switzerland version of My Little... Sorry. <laughs> the Switzerland version of McDonald's is apparently rocking a My Little Pony and Transformer line right now over the course of four weeks. Two ponies will be available each time with the full main cast getting love on this one. That's amazing. Wow. This is... Yeah. Wow, I I'm surprised. This this is a great lineup. Woo. So, yeah, if you're in Switzerland and if you love ponies and you don't mind eating at McDonald's, Go and get them. They're really cool. Anyway, um, next up, we get uh, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Through the years, is now available on Hasbro Plus for sale. So, if you follow the podcast or at least follow some news about San Diego Comic Con, uh, they have... How do you put it? San Diego Comic Con is a convention in San Diego where it, it is <laughs> it's a big deal. A lot of announcements were made, a lot of toys go exclusive, and so on. Uh, this year, Magic the Gathering had their exclusive San Diego Comic Con promo cards, um, something to do with the uh, cards from... War of the Sparks uh, It's a really nice thing And so on Yeah, whatever uh, But for ponies What they did was that uh, They did this version of Twilight um, How to put this? Uh, yeah There's this version And the Generation 1 version So hence Through the years If I go here Onto the website We can see that Hey, this is the Original 1980s version and this is the 2019 slash 2010 version of the ponies. Yay, much awesomeness. So, um, what else can I say? Uh, the old ponies looks like the old self. So, like that. But, anywho, uh, you can buy it on the Hasbro Pulse website for $20. $19.99. And... It says here, not available to ship to Quebec, Canada. That's mean. Why would you do that? Why are you denying the good folks of Quebec, Canada? What do they ever do to you? Uh, okay, we got two reviews. Um, you know what? This is just for the funds. Uh, Twilight Shines. Princess Twilight and her 80s counterpart shines bright in this set that while simple is sure to delight fans young and old alike then we got the OG pony what is this eh, disappointing that the 80s inspired pony looks nothing like 80s style pony you know the actual good design <laughs> wow yeah I mean hmm I I'm not sure to say hmm but yeah, uh, figures are in 3 inches in size and they look neat if you are a collector, especially collectors of San Diego Comic Con products, you should probably get it. I think stocks are a abundance. 
uh, yeah so anywho uh, let's move on to the next news and next news is a bit of a woozy it seems that um, Sunset Shimmer is going to have her own music video called Let It Rain um, let's see uh, Google has a listing up for a new Sunset Shimmer music video following the costume conundrum short uh, their air dates is the 25th uh, their air date is the 25th though this release are so completely and utterly random on a plethora of different platforms who know blah 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 so yeah it seems that we might be getting a music video about sunset that's awesome I can't wait if it's true <laughs> if it's not true I'll be crying so we'll see we'll see um, the last time when they did this it was an awesome song it, it was a really awesome song Sunny really got her due so yay much awesomeness and on top of that we also get <laughs> Flash he also gets a song yay what 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 is he gonna sing about alright let's see Flash Sentry sings about cheering on the equestrian girl as they soar at being a magnificent and strong group of girls yahoo much <laughs> awesomeness wow uh fun fact vincent tong can sing he he has a range remember the one where uh the ballad of sweetie no um i forgot big max girlfriend that thing and if you want to see more of that you could also check out uh Daniel Ingram's YouTube page where Vincent and Peter New sang the song. I, I forgot. I wish I remember the title of the song. Mm. But anywho, yeah. Uh, Go There He Can Sing is awesome and I can't wait to hear his song. It's going to be fun, I think. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. U usually these kind of things are a mixed bag. Everything that involves Flash is a mixed bag. Some people like it. Some people don't. I am neutral. I don't mind him. So, anywho, that is the news for this week. So, anywho, um, let's hit into my favorite topic of the week. And that is what have I been doing with my week. So, like I always mentioned, I've been playing the video games, the Street Fighter, the Overwatch, and Magic the Gathering. And talking about Magic the Gathering, recently they released their... Uh, new pre-constructed product which is the commander 2019 pre-constructed product yes uh, if you got for a short summary uh, commander is a format where you have 100 cards and you play with it it's a lot of fun it's challenging and let's just say that I had an awesome weekend of command of madness starting from saturday to uh, sorry starting from friday to saturday i played a lot of commander and it is nuts it is nuts much craziness to be had and in other news i met up with some friends and we hung out i got a social life much awesomeness um we sorry i i met a friend who came down to visit well technically he had work to do and he had time to visit me so yay awesomeness and then we um, chatted up ate some awesome food and you know what I had a great time I had a great time other than that um, nothing much like I have been you know just rolling with the punches and whatnot and yeah that's about it i guess uh, what else can i say what else can i say oh yeah there's this incident that happened on the mbs show's twitter account it's really strange um how do i put this two people were talking about stuff that's not related to ponies and somehow i got tagged or the show got tagged and saying that i'm spreading false news i got no idea if i'm spreading false pony news 
I mean, you guys are following me. <laughs> you guys are following along with me, right? Like, I'm showing you whatever <laughs> that's on the screen, right? So, um, people who tag me, I'm sure that you're awesome at what you were trying to um, debate or talk about. But in all honesty, um, we don't really talk about politics on the show. I mean, um, we are a Malaysian-based show and politics is not our game. <laughs> So yeah, that, that that's confusing. I mean, what? Yeah, suddenly open Twitter, twenty notifications. Oh wow, we did somebody tag us? Did somebody like what we did? No, not in the slightest. Woo! That was a mix-up of great proportions. So anyway. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can always contact us at the MBS show at gmail.com. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, and please don't tag us with non pony related news because we only cover the pony news. Yeah, that's what we do. And if you'd like to talk to me, I'm also at Norman Sanzo. And please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and don't forget to press the bell icon and uh, the bell icon to stay up to date and stay to radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PondiveLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Uh, let's see. The MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast is available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, Torterra, reviewing, <laughs> reviewing pony episodes, comics, specials and also movies or whatever it is we also like to do other things other than ponies um, one of the few things that we're trying to accomplish because of a patreon request is my little witch academia we got to cover that one and i've been enjoying that uh, besides the my little witch we do have comic books and also dc movies and whatnot like we love entertainment like I, I have a few things that I like and if it's available and I think it's worthy to talk about, we will cover it. And I do remember that we sorry, I do remember that the Russo brothers are going to produce or direct the Magic the Gathering animated film or animated series on Netflix. So that's something I'm interested in looking at. I, I want to see an outsider's view into Magic the Gathering. And for me, as a fan of the card game, I want to see how it is as a story. Is it good? Is it appealing? Is it going to be attracting and whatnot? So yeah, there's that. So I can't wait to cover that one and it's going to be awesome. It could be an awesome show. Maybe maybe Silver will pick it up and play the card game and whatnot. Who knows, right? So yeah, that's something for the future and whatnot. <laughs> So anyway, uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Starstream, Master of Lag, and Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. This is the MBS show. We'll guys catch you next week. See ya.